Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. This is Matt. Welcome to another Matt test. It's Tuesday. It's, it's been ages since we've been in it's here. It's Matt time. I know because we've been in LA. Yeah. Been... And I was on my bike trip before that. You were on it's your been bike trip. It's ages since we've gone I think we managed to squeeze one in after your bike trip because we talked about it, didn't we? Yeah. Did we? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we squeezed right. one in after the bike trip. But yeah, I mean, we've been in LA supporting the boy, supporting Ryland. Yes, a little uh, shit. And, and officially, I want to say thank you for coming along and, 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 and doing what you did. You know, I said on the uh, on the channel, a lot of what Ryland accomplished was because of you working with him. Aww. It's true. And, 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 and honestly, if I'd tried to do what you did, I would have drop kicked him in the head. So it was nice. I very that. nearly drop kicked him in the head multiple <laughs> times. <coughs> but it seems it worked out in the end, didn't it? So Yeah, and you were an integral part of the act. A lot of people didn't realise, but you were actually in the act. You can see me on it. Can you? Yeah, you can, because I've got white trainers on. Ah. Uh -huh. So when it pans out and he's walking towards Heidi, you can see my little feet running around. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, normally, obviously, for people that don't know, Tuesdays is mat time. Uh, sometimes we do a mat test. Sometimes we do a Craig test. Last week, because we didn't have a mat test and I was in America after you left, I did uh, 10 things that I've learned about Matt. 10 things you've learned about Did me. you see the video? Um, was that the one that you told me about? Yeah. Yeah, I think I did, actually. Have you watched it yet? I think so. Yeah, it was nice. You were actually... Yeah, that was the one he was actually nice about me. Yeah. I, I was surprised. I was watching. I did. I did. I watched it, and I remember sitting there and thinking, "Right, come on, then. like it's going to happen. This is just going to be a build-up for some massive insult, and he's going to take the piss or whatever." No. And you didn't. It well, was nice. Well, there was an eleventh point, which is you can be shit and still be successful, but I chose not to include that in there because, like, I thought it'd be mean. That's what I was waiting for. Well, there you go. And I'm it didn't happen. Saying it now, unofficial people. <laughs> but but yeah. normally, it freaked um, me out. Yeah. Well, it used to be nice to me. Well, normally when I do a map test, because it's going to be a map test this week, so I'm going to be uh, showing you a trick. Okay, good. Normally, I haven't <laughs> normally the frame, I know, right? We've not seen each other outside of America for like a month. Yeah. Um, but the normally the framing is I try and fool you with the trick. Yes. Now I don't think this is going to fool you. Okay. Although having said that, Michael knows a lot about magic now because he films so much, and I showed it him, and he just didn't have a clue. Did so, you not know? No. No, yeah, no oh, really? at all. Yeah. Okay. But I don't think it'll fool you. However, this is the, the reason I'm doing this as a map test, and it might fool you. I don't know if you know the principle or not. It might fool you, might not. However, the reason that I'm actually showing you this trick is A, it's kind of a little underground. A lot of people don't know about it. We'll talk about that in a bit. Okay. Um, but B, um, I think this suits you to the ground. I think that you would immediately start doing this trick. Okay. Like immediately start I've heard doing that this before. Trick. I think this would go straight into your act. Let's see and, then. And I, I, I want this to be more of a review and your opinion on what this trick's all about. Okay? So. There's nothing here. Uh, I've got it on my plate. Pack, pack small. Pack oh, small. okay. So, would you like a chance to win some money? Genuinely. No. No, <laughs> no I'm going to give you a chance to win some money. You're not going to win the money. Obviously. But I'm going to give you a chance to win it. Okay. The reason you're not going to win the money is because my job is to try and influence you away from it. And it only uses two envelopes. Now, one of these envelopes says yours, one of these envelopes says mine. Okay. You will notice, first of all, that mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> but, um... Don't worry about that, it's genetics. <laughs> but there's two envelopes, there's yours and mine. Now, I will tell you that inside one of these envelopes is a £10 note. Okay. It should be a £50 note, but I haven't been to the bank. So <laughs> It doesn't matter because I'm not going to so win I borrow, it anyway. I borrowed, I borrowed 10 quid off, uh, off Reagan. So, um, here's the idea. In one of these envelopes is a £10 note. Yeah. I'm going to give you a chance to win that £10 note. You are going to pick one of these envelopes. Whichever envelope you pick, we will open it up. If the £10 note is in there, you get to keep it. It's as simple as that. Now, before you make your decision, I should tell you, a lot of people go for mine. And the reason they go for mine is because they kind of think if I was going to put the money in something, it would be mine. And, and, and it's bigger and it's, you know, the word mine is bigger. So it's my, kind of more obvious that it would be in mine. Other people go for yours because they're kind of thinking there's no way that you put it in yours. But then if you're thinking about it the other way, it could be wordplay. I don't want to confuse you. I don't want to influence you. The question is, which envelope is the ten pound in? Mine. This one here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do something which I should never normally do. I'm going to tell you right now you're wrong. I'm going to tell you right now that the money is in yours, not in mine. The money's in yours. 
If you change your mind and you go for that envelope, you'll win the £10 note. I shouldn't normally tell people that, but I want you to win because you helped me in, in Royal and you're amazing in, in America's Got Talent. So I want you to win. So you said mine, but I'm telling you it's in yours. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, Craig's a, a professional liar. That's what he does for a living. He lies, cheats and steals. And that's very true, but I never lie to a friend. So you can be completely 100% uh, you, you can guarantee that I'm not lying to you. If you pick that envelope, you'll get the £10 note. What did you do? Don't tell him. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> you can stick with mine, obviously. But I mean, come on. Would I really put the £10 note in mine? <laughs> All right, fine. I'll trust you. Yours. You sure? You Okay, I should also point out that I'm actually lying. <laughs> you should know this by now. I would now. never lie to a friend. Uh, no, I, I, yeah, but I mean, you can have yours if you want to, but it's not in yours, it's in mine. But it's totally up to you. Yours. But I'm telling you, I lied about it. It's, it's... <laughs> yeah, but you've already lied once. This game could go on for a really long time. <laughs> it could be. And I'm, I'm going on lunch in a minute. <laughs> are, you, are you sure you want yours? No, I want mine. Will you make your mind up? <laughs> I want mine. You want, you want mine? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Because it's not in mine, it's in yours. You just told me you were lying and then it was in... I'm trying to double bluff you, dude. It's up to you. Which one do you want? Mine. You want mine? Yeah. Is that your final answer? Yeah. You don't want yours? No. When I open this, we're done. Are you sure you don't want yours? Yeah. You don't want yours? No. I want mine. Okay, because the £10 note is actually in... Um, this one, it's actually in yours. I know you're thinking, right? No, let me show you. Look, let me show you. Hang on, let me open this up because in this one, all I says is there's a, a card which said, I told you you should choose the other envelope. Dickhead. <laughs> um, so I get the £10 notes and um, everyone here knows you're a dickhead. I don't think we need a card. <laughs> And the reason I did that trick is just so I could call you a dickhead on on uh, YouTube. Okay, I don't think you needed to do the trick for that. It's been done before. <laughs> what do you think? It's funny, dude. It's amazing. It's funny. You could, you could, yeah, you could play that. So, really so the first all. thing I want to tell you is this. <coughs> do you know how it works? Yeah. I yeah. Okay. So. I thought you would do. <clears throat> um, so this trick is created by a guy called Paul Martin. Mm -hmm who is probably the top corporate magician in the UK. He actually yeah. runs this, this thing called the Pro Magic Academy, where people spend thousands of dollars to learn how to be professional MCs, corporate and wedding professional oh, wow. MCs. And you remember that ball trick I showed you and you take the balls out and put them in different pockets? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's Paul, the golf ball. That's Paul Martin as well. That's really good. Yeah, so that's Paul Martin as well. Now, he, he bought out uh, a bank night routine with three envelopes mm. and almost every working pro that I know of that's successful uses it to open their cabaret. Mark Bennett uses that trick to open wow. his show at Smoke and Mirrors. James Samuel, like top social media superstar, he uses that to open every show that I've ever seen him do. Wow. Like it's used by some of the top pros. Now this is called Yours and Mine. It's a mini version of the Bank Night. Instead of using three big envelopes, yeah, because the original version had big envelopes with like hundreds of pounds it's in it. It's a walk around version. This is a walk around version with just yeah. yours and mine on it. And, and, and what's important about this, what you need to understand is, that, and the reason I think you would like this so much, you get two different versions of this. You get this version for like, certain audiences where it says dickhead but you get another version where it says on the end on the other side loser so you get like a you get like a a, a slightly less harsh version of the yeah, final reveal if you can't call someone a dickhead but what's really nice about this there's a couple of things that's really nice about it first of all if you're going to tell people that you are going to read their mind which a lot of the time you talk about influence and you talk about yeah, mind yeah. reading having a 50 50 outcome at the very beginning and saying, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to influence you right now. First of all, that's really strong. 50-50, a lot of people think, oh, it's not that strong. It is. 50-50 is really strong when presented correctly, especially when you put money on the line. Mm -hmm. Second of all, there's, I, I know as, a, as somebody who, starts, who knows a little bit about magic now, I, know that, I, I knew this wouldn't fool you. Yeah. But you have to understand that from a layman's point of view, it's incredible because they can see 
that there's nothing going on and you just put the uh it folds you right yeah yeah you just put the money back in and you're you're, you're good to go you know it's, go, it's yeah, that yeah. it's 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 really really strong it's an instant reset it is yeah and it allows you to bring that whole influence uh, presentation into into your presentation with then it would be good as like to... in a close-up situation if you're doing like men mentalism routines it would be i think that would be a great way to like warm people up into it and especially have you have you, have you at any point like... done routines in your performance because i've never taught you any have you at any point so far done any routines where you put money on the line no no i'm telling you right now that when you involve a bet into the situation Mm -hmm. everybody sits up and pays attention you've, you've been to close-up jobs where you've got to get around as many people as possible and sometimes you go to that group of people and they're kind of half paying attention but they're not really as good as some of the other groups and mm -hmm. you, you realize at that point you have to work harder in order to get them on side you have an opener like this where you say look I'm openly telling you right now I'm gonna give you a chance to win money now yeah, it's an amazing. It's an amazing hook, and then you get this right down. I told you to choose the other envelope, dickhead. That's to, to, you know, like you work in military base or you work, uh, which I know you've worked. You work places like a table that. Table of drunk guys. That that just yeah brings the house down. This, it's instantly reset. It's uh, visible. You can st do this at a table, and everyone can see what's going on. Yeah, it takes almost no pocket space. Which it's is good. Easy to do. Like, it's super easy to do. Yeah. If you open up an envelope, you can do the trick. And then you've got all the built-in gags. I didn't even use half the gags that he has in his act. But, you know, just the whole thing at the beginning, you'll notice mine's bigger than yours. And just yeah. everything and is designed to just have this working routine that just kills. I like it. I actually do like it. Uh, do you? Because when I first showed it, you were like, mm, I got the feeling that you weren't too sure. No, I like it. I was just... when. Instantly, as soon as you'd finished the trick, my brain just went, okay, how can I make that mine? How can I work that into my stuff? How could I be able to do that the way that I do stuff and work it into a more serious kind of mentalism? But and you my don't brain know, was just right. going, yeah, but the, the thing is, and I love the way that you present things more seriously, and you know I do, and I spoke about it on that video, but sometimes, and you know as well as me, you go to events, you can't have that style. Yeah, when yeah, you're yeah. working a corporate event where you've got like 200 people and you've got an hour to get around 200 people and you've got to work quick, work quick, but you haven't got time to build up that rapport and go, right, now look at their left eye, see how it's looking up to the left and see how uh, their ear is wiggling and they're standing on one leg and the wind is coming in at a 90 degree <laughs> angle and all of that utter, complete and total bollocks. It is talk. bollocks, yeah. Um, sometimes there's no time to do that, you know that. You know, you've, got, you've gone to gigs with me fairly recently and you've kind of got it's been out your comfort zone and you've been like well there's well there's 300 people here and we've got an hour Fuck. Yeah. Like, you know, I, like, I need to i need to i need to be quick yeah roll that dice yeah <laughs> this yeah that's it yeah it's just walking around doing dice tricks and yeah. all that stuff. this is this is quick yeah it's yeah, quick yeah. it's mm -hmm. visual um and and it's it's it, it you know you can do it in two minutes if you want to you could literally just walk up to a group of drunk guys and go who wants to win some money yeah and they go what yeah pick one yeah and you in it done yeah i like it do you yeah i do yeah good um i i think you should use this i think we should <laughs> sure <laughs> um i think that you should uh, you should give this a go and i think uh we should video you doing it at some point oh man <laughs> because no genuinely this isn't about me trying to make you look stupid i just think this fits your style i think this fits your style perfectly i think that once you played with this and this is my personal set but i will give you this personal set to go away and practice if you work this in i think that you would this would be as big as big for you as the Stebbins deck, as big for you as the the the, the Anne Verdi dice, because it's so your style. But you've got the jokes and you've got the money uh, money with it as well. Yeah. A lot of the time, you know, yes, you want to make tricks your own. I like the ways in the stakes with the money thing. Yeah, I like it. I actually, I do. I genuinely like it. It's cool. Yeah, so, I want to see that uh, the stage version as well. The stage say, version is yeah, great. I want to see that. Um, I'll, I'll show you a video of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll show you a video of it. It's really good. Or we could all go on a trip. To Smoke and Mirrors. To Smoke and Mirrors. Well, and why see not? Mark I've got to go and do uh, Smoke and Mirrors. Soon. You want to come to Smoke and Mirrors? Come and see Mark do his show.
Yeah, cool. Yeah, we'll say yes to that. Okay, so we're going to get a video of you doing this soon. Cool. I, I, and this isn't me making the, it's not like me saying, right, go to McDonald's and film this dressed as a Tibetan monk whilst hopping on one leg and pretending <laughs> you're Romanian. Where did the Tibetan monk <laughs> come from? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying it's the sort of thing that me and Michael are planning for you. I wouldn't suggest um, we do that. I just want to see your performance of it because I think you'll really kill with this. Okay. Yeah? I need some live footage anyway. And, uh, and the other thing, by the way, is the matchumentary season two will be announced in the next couple of weeks. Well, I mean, it, I, I don't know. So. No, you don't need to know. <laughs> you know when you'll find out, when they find out. I was going to say, I'm always, I always find out last. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to give you this, and I want to get some footage of you performing it, and we can revisit it in the next few weeks. Okay. Um, but if you guys like this, the only place that you can get it is from Paul Martin. Um, so go on to Pro Magic Academy, and you can get it. It's called Yours and Mine, the Mini Bank Night. So, How much uh, is it? I don't know. Yeah. I can't remember. Um, but you can go on the website and find that information. Should we find out? Oh, you're going you're gonna to find out now? Okay. okay. Uh, just uh, Google Pro Magic Academy. There you go. It, this is all happening in real time. Well, people need to know. Yeah, okay. Have you found it? Uh, not yeah. Take your time. <laughs> Sorry, just entertain people. Just trying to get the mid roll out. What do you call... Um, uh, I'm terrible at jokes. Um, why, why, uh, why does Tigger smell? He plays with poo. Hurry up, I'm dying. That's awful. It's, That's so bad. What was Piglet doing with his head down the toilet? Looking for poo. Thank you. There's no... Why does Santa not have kids? He only comes once a year and that's down the chimney. Please, hurry. <laughs> I'm sure, I know. <laughs> You're doing this on purpose. I'm not doing it on purpose. <laughs> Ultimate Warrior, uh, oh, the golf ball thing. Uh, no, not night. the golf ball thing. Uh, mine and yours. Mine and yours, there you go. Find out more. I'm trying. Get a good phone. I've got a good phone. I've got an, a brand new iPhone. Okay, well, tell me then. 30 quid. Oh, 30 quid. How the fuck did you do He's that? He's doing it <laughs> with one hand while holding a video camera. I'm not and really you did it good faster at this than stuff. You. I found it, look, 30 quid. Yes, he found it with one hand, and he didn't start looking until after all of the poo jokes. Well, yeah. 30 quid. That's a good price. That is. Bank night's only 95. There you go. There you go. 30 quid. I'll show you bank night. You can see bank night. Anyway, we're going to go now. Say bye to everyone. You're being rude. Bye, everyone. Bloody hell, the golf ball thing. Just look how much that is. It's quite expensive. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, we did have a lot of comments on the channel, wow. didn't we, going, that's a bit too expensive. <laughs> it's bad, yeah. yeah. Jesus it's, it's, Christ. Hey, it's bloody brilliant. Don't get me wrong. Like, yeah, but... it's, it's, it's quite expensive. Wow. It's quite expensive. Um, anyway, this is not 30 quid. So 30 quid. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Would you do this? Do you want to see Matt doing this? Do you want us to get footage of him doing it? Are you excited about the matchumentary season two? Uh, let me know. I'm sure Matt is. And uh, we will be back again soon. Say bye, Matt. Bye, Matt. See you again soon. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Thank you.